And where are mm-hmm. you from, by the way? Romania. Romania, nice. And what's your name? Alex. Alex, nice to meet you, Alex. Uh, not bad name? thing. Uh, my name is Remvidas. Yeah, it's, you like uh, that. Harder to, to pronounce. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, be careful, they might be up. This is fine, they're not invading you. You come back to lane. This is really, really important. First wave, really, really important. Let's see what you're gonna do. You start hitting it instantly, right? To push for level 2. Yeah. Perfect, well played. Okay, this is fine. Don't over push it. You want it to be somewhere around here, right? Yeah. We are against Ezreal. Oh! The quality randomly changed to 360. I'm loving it. This PC is good today. Treating me well. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, you over pushed it a little bit, right? Let's go back. Yeah. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. And you shouldn't be pushing anymore. You should be only last hitting, so for the next wave to come faster, right? But uh, because you auto attack still, right? And you're not lost hitting, and now you're over pushing the lane, and it's gonna be quite difficult for you, right? Yeah. Now you can't look for all in, now you can't abuse your level 2 power spike, now you, you're in awkward position to push out the next wave, you're, danger, you're in danger zone, right? You're afraid of a jungler, you're in not that good of position, right? So, yeah. never over push the first wave. Okay, this is fine. Perfect, you back off, you ward. Okay, so far so good. You let the wave bounce, you thin it out, you get level 3 first, you look for all in, you want to trade as much as possible because you have Soraka. The problem is. Oh, never mind. The problem not gonna appear because you have biscuit, right? You have biscuit delivery, so you're gonna have mana. But I struggle a lot on Nila with mana early game, right? Especially when you're mm -hmm. going really aggressive and you have something like Soraka, who literally it heals you up to full HP all the time, right? So mana is quite a problem, and like I can see that you, you notice that, right? But yeah, biscuit delivery is not the best option. Okay. Okay, this is fine. All in, after you get free. Uh, I don't think I do in this game. Um, what do you say? Uh, I, I, I said I don't think I'm all in uh, them in this game, but uh, I don't yeah. remember. You should, you should. After you kill the cannon, you should all in. Oh, wow, what happened here? This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is fine. Oh my god, you let him auto attack for free, right? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. You have Soraka, so it doesn't matter. You can poke you as much as you want. Okay, so right here, why you should be all in Oh, uh, because I'm a level ahead. Yes, you're level ahead. Uh, your jungler is bot side, right? So automatically, if enemy jungler comes, uh, your jungler can come and help as well. And it's gonna be a 3v3, and you win 3v3 because we're level 2 and you're level 3. So it's gonna be a really, really, really wonderful time for you, right? So yeah. another thing is, you can use one of your E's to all in, right? You poke him down a little bit, and then you back out with another E, right? You always have options. Mm -hmm. The worst option would be not doing anything right now, right? So good thing that Soraka baited, I hope she baited, or maybe she just mispositioned, but doesn't matter. This is good. You should never focus the support, you should always focus ADC, right? So right now, when ADC is trying to help the support, you should just E on top of him, right? And then he E's mm -hmm. out, you E once more, and then you run him down, right? And you poke him down. And you, okay. then he can't play the game because he's low HP, right? And he doesn't have Soraka who full HP him, right? And yeah. then the game is unplayable. So you do that, perfect. All in, all in. Continue, continue. Why, why did you back up? Uh, I was running too deep into the uh, wave. That was my. Uh, my it's thinking. fine. It's fine. It's only two cast uh, three casters. Doesn't matter, right? Plus uh, the wave doesn't matter for Nila whatsoever because you have your W, right? Your W literally yeah. um, stops all auto attacks, right? So mm -hmm. you should always continue with raid here. And most of the times you're gonna be getting his flash, right? Yeah. But because you stop the trade, it's still fine. It's not too bad. 
because you have Soraka like I mentioned before, right? So it doesn't matter too much. Thresh no flail, you should punish. Always pay attention to enemy cooldowns, right? Jarvan is here, so you kill the Thresh, you at least you get his flash, right? One of the two. Okay, you get his flash, this is good. Mad hook looked weird as fuck, but it's fine, doesn't matter. Tre uh, Ezreal suicided for no reason. Never mind. Yeah, he's dead. What do you do with a vape? Uh, I think it was better to just recall and leave it here so it will still push to me. But uh, okay. here I think I just clear. Let's talk about zones. Zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4, zone 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right? Yeah. Alright. So this is neutral zone. So if an enemy auto attacks the wave, it's automatically pushing to you, right? Uh, if you don't mm -hmm. touch your wave, this is one zone, so you only need one minion advantage for the to push back to you. This is two zones, so you need two minions to push back to you. This is three zone, you need three minions to push back to you. This is four, you need four minions to be pushing back to you, right? Uh, yeah. If you only, if you have melees, then this is how it is. If you don't have melees, you only have caster minions, then you need to add plus one to the fourth one and the third one, right? Any yeah. questions? No. Perfect, you can take a screenshot, which is really, really important, right? Uh, another thing is right now let's see at which zone the minions collide right we check the melee minions we check the casters okay so we check the melees melee is already dead okay we check the casters okay so this is one two three four five five versus three right uh, this is really close to the third zone as well right so it's gonna be a, uh, pushing back to you most of the time right yeah okay so right now you should just recall and they're gonna be pushing back to you right okay of course now you're pushing it in so is how it is. Uh, enemy jailer is top, so that's good. You can push for free. Another thing is, you just got a kill and you would get 50 mana back from that kill, right? So automatically you yeah. have a lot of mana and you will be able to push out the wave. Another thing is, it's a cannon wave. You never want to push in the cannon wave because it takes so long and you're losing a lot of tempo, right? So right. good thing that you have biscuit delivery, I suppose, that that's gonna help you out a little bit. Push out the wave, right? And you're not using the biscuit. Rip. So now you're not going to be pushing it in time. We can freeze on you. We can do so many th uh, things, right? Depending what we want to do. Okay. Lucky you. We didn't catch the wave in time because we recalled pretty f late, probably, right? And so on and so forth. Like it took them a long time to come back to a lane, right? If you had futures market here, you could get a refillable. The best back would be Dirk into refillable, right? So you would achieve that if you had Futures Market instead of Biscuit Delivery, right? So uh, regarding Futures Market, you would use it for something like refillable, not for uh, big item power specs? Yeah, so early you're not getting that much money to work with. So mm -hmm. for example, uh, if I had enough gold for Longsword, I would buy Longsword over refillable. But because I don't have enough gold for Longsword, I only have enough gold for Refillable right now, I would go for Refillable. Later on to the game, I would uh, use the Futures Market for Crit Cloak, right? Something like Crit Cloak, you recall with 400 gold, you don't have enough for Crit Cloak. You go in depth, you buy the Crit Cloak, you're huge, right? Because you already have Collector and Navori, and you get the freaking Crit Cloak, so you have like 55% Crit, which is 11% more damage from Navori, right? Which is really huge. Thresh is not here right now, so you should be looking for a trade. Any questions? PC crashed again, really fun. Uh, probably gonna have to buy a new PC. I don't know what's going on. Like this has started happening today. Mic and everything, like everything started today. I don't know why. Maybe I need to close it all out and then reopen it. Today there's a lot of problems with PC, but usually it's fine. Like usually it's all good. Only today. Okay. Maybe some hardware, uh, I mean, uh, software updates are messing up your PC. I don't know, to be honest, maybe. So right now, Ezreal is alone, so you should look to punish. Uh, I like... don't see the share screen now. Oh, okay.
So right now, the Ezreal is alone. You can see, right? Yeah. Ezreal is alone, 1 versus 2, the wave is bouncing back to you. Okay, we already discussed the zones, this is zone 2, right? This is zone 2. Mm -hmm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 to, to 6. 6 to 9, you need to kill 1, right? Because this is 2 zone, so the wave doesn't push back to you too fast, right? So you kill 1 and you leave the wave as it is. When you're filling out the wave, never fill out the melees, always fill out the casters because we are the damage dealers and we are making the wave to push to you way faster. So always fill out the casters and never fill out the melees, right? Okay. Okay, so right now you should kill one caster. You should kill two casters because we are another one game. So you need to kill two casters. You're not afraid to step up because you're 2v1, right? So you should be denying him from last hits as well. He should never be able to step up here because his stretch is roaming, right? Right. Okay. I see that you're filling out melee minions, you're still though filling out the caster minions. Now it's gonna be really awkward for you to manage the wave. Because you're not gonna have enough melees to actually manage the wave properly. So now the wave is gonna be pushing back to you. The next wave, right? It's gonna be pushing back really fast. So you have to tank the minions. If you fill out the casters, you would never need to tank here and take free damage, right? Right. Okay, another one. Right now it's a four zone, so four plus one because there's only casters. So what do you do? You kill this caster that's low health, right? And that's it, you leave the yeah. wave. You do that, perfect, well played, and now you're gonna get rewarded if you continue last hitting, right? Perfect example, perfect example. You're gonna see how the wave gonna be pushing back to you, just because you manage it perfectly, right? Now the wave is gonna mm -hmm. be pushing back to you and it's not gonna be pushing too fast, but at the same time it's not gonna be pushing too slow and it's gonna be in this perfect position for so long if, until you continue last hitting, right? Yeah. Oh, never do that, never do that. <laughs> Always last hit with auto attacks, you never want to last hit with your Q. First of all, a mana management. Second of all, there's no point for you to Q, right? You're just gonna mess out the wave and you're gonna be auto attacking the other minions for no reason whatsoever, right? Yeah. So always get in the habit when you have this perfect position, just last hit, right? Yeah. Look at this! You slapped one, two, three, four minions. And you're gonna yeah. be slapping one more with your passive and one more oh my god but Ezreal is also uh, hitting Pushing. the wave so yeah, I think it so, out so you don't get punished but in lower in higher divisions the Ezreal is gonna stop hitting the wave here you know <laughs> yeah. and then it's gonna be bad <laughs> okay finally you punish Ezreal I love that you're saving your W because you have Soraka so you don't mind taking some poke right but in matchups where your support is all in, right? You need to stay healthy and you need to make sure to utilize the W as much as possible, right? So for this game, everything is perfect, right? Ezreal no E, so you kill him. Uh, okay. E, auto, Q, auto, right? This is the combo. Auto, see you missed one auto already. E, auto, Q, auto. And then you wouldn't need to flash. Or you flash yeah. Q and he's dead. You wouldn't need to chase on the third. So let's see, rewind it again. So Nila combos. A, A, right? A, A, plus Q, plus A, A. A, A. Plus E, right? Plus A A, plus E, plus A A, right? You always want to throw uh, one auto attack in between your abilities, right? In between your Qs, in between your E's, and so on and so forth, right? So right now, yeah. the moment you go in, this is good, this is good, this is good. E, auto, Q, auto, right? Because you can get three auto attacks really fast, right? Auto, Q, auto. So, see, you cancelled an auto, and then you queued, and then it became weird. Yeah. And again, you flashed, you had empowered the uh, Q, see? You had the range, right? Again, you flash here, right? And you need to yeah. auto Q auto, and he's dead, right? So you flash, and you, instead of queuing, auto Q auto, and he's dead, right? And Thresh is dead. So you get two kills for free, just mm -hmm. because of the uh, combos. 
Okay, it's fine. It's fine. The German fixes the wave. It's good. They're ganking the freaking Vladimir non stop. Your ward, which is good. You roam. Okay, so when would I roam and when I wouldn't roam? Because the wave is pushing back to you, so right now you're not losing anything, right? So you can look yeah. for a roam. If the wave was pushing to them, then I would stay and fix the wave instead of roaming, right? So this is good. What you're doing here is good. Perfect, you don't lose anything. Uh, so you're just chilling. You're level 6 soon. So you can uh, just last it the minions. Just chill, you're not afraid of him whatsoever. Because he auto attacked you or queued you, it doesn't matter. The minions focused him, right? So they're now the wave gonna be pushing to you way faster, which is really good as well. So right now you need to fin out the wave. This is at zero zone, so you should uh, leave the wave, fin out the wave until zero zero, right? But because the wave is so big and he's already six, you're backing out. This is really good as well. Let's continue. So we let this wave crash under the turret right now. This is good. Auto Kyoto. Right? Auto Kyoto. Yeah. Or you can even E for a cannon. I I don't I hate wasting my E stacks, but for a cannon I would E, right? Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Yep, don't push a wave, keep a wave here, which is really really good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You need to thin it out, you shouldn't be scared to walk up. You shouldn't be scared, you shouldn't be scared. Oh, this is bad now. Why you shouldn't be scared? Uh, well, I have Soraka. You have Soraka, right? So until you stay under your own turret, until you don't get stunned by Echo's W, until you don't get hooked by Trash Hook, you win this, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, you get hit by Ezreal R, and then you get stunned by Echo, and then you didn't cleanse in time, and then your R is too late because it's, you're already gone. Yeah. So you see some mechanical issues, right? Yeah. Now poor Soraka is dead as well. Unlucky. At least it's 2 for 2. So it's not too bad. Never mind. One mm, for two. Two for one. Yeah, yeah, two for one. Never mind. Jarvan killed them. Two for three. Easy. Well played. Yeah, this is fine. You go for plates. Go, go, go. Don't be afraid of him. Don't be afraid of him. Ezreal is a free matchup for you. I actually struggle against Ezreal. I'm not really sure how to how to play the matchup correctly because I think his E is uh, has a bigger range than my E. Doesn't matter. You have more movement speed anyway. Okay, you have your item. You reset. This is good. Uh, another thing is you should just dodge his Qs and make sure that he's not in the position where he Qs you to poke you. But he queues to mm -hmm. CS, right? You always okay. want to keep a wave under close to your turret, right? And then the poor dude can't even step up to like auto attack the minions, so he has to queue them, right? And you're just walking up to the minions and you're last hitting them, right? Yeah. Okay, we're doing dragon. You're trading dragon for herald. Right now you're messing up the wave. So this is a four zone. A cannon minion is like two, so one, two, three, six, right? So you need to kill the cannon. And you should be fine. Oh, I mean, you kill the melee minion and you should be fine, right? Yeah. Perfect. So if you don't touch a wave here, or you even kill one caster, that would be fine. That would be perfect. If you kill one caster, that would be literally perfect, right? Well, one melee and one caster and GG, right? The wave is perma yeah. freezed here. But look what you do. Yeah, I'm pushing. Yeah, you're pushing. What's the point of pushing here? No point, right? Because the jungler just did the dragon bot side, your jungler is backing away from bot, and you're making the wave horrible for you, so right now enemy jungler can come and punish you because you have no R, right? But yeah. because you're Nila, you can eat twice away and you're fine, right? So you don't get punished too much. 
But still, it's gonna be really awkward for you because the wave is in really, really bad spot for you. Uh, why didn't go in on him? Uh, I wasn't sure if Thresh should be close. We know that Thresh is here. Yeah, but I'm not sure if he's ready to hook me there if I jump in or not. Doesn't matter if he hooks you. As you know, flash. And he's E into you. No, no flash. And you have Collector. Right. What are you afraid of? And you have Soraka. Murder his ass. This is illegal. Yeah, I should. <laughs> okay, it's fine. And you waste your W for no reason. You're way too afraid. Echo is mid. Fight, fight. You see where the jungler is. Even if you don't have W. Trash no hook. Fight. 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 Trash no hook. He's useless. He's a cannon minion. Why are you afraid of Ezreal? Even if you're low behind. Oh. Oh my god. Imagine if you did this earlier. When he E'd into you and he had no E, right? He's dead. Yeah. Alright, it's fine. Again, why are you auto attacking minions? What's the point? Are you gonna dive them? Are you gonna go for a dragon? Are you gonna go for division? Like, why are you pushing? What, what, are, what do you achieve? Habits. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't be touching the wave unless you have a game plan, right? You should always focus on what your objective is, right? So right now, your objective is to just last it minions because there's nothing to play for a map, right? You don't have wards, yeah. right? You're 105 seconds for wards. There, uh, there's no dragon. There's nothing to actually fight for, right? So right now, you're just shoving free experience and free gold into the Ezreal's mouth for no reason, right? Yeah. You don't win this. You're dead. Oh my god, you're gambling with your life now. From a really, really good spot where the Ezreal is dead, now you're gambling with your life. And this gangplank is inting against an Orn. He's getting dived by an Orn. Yeah. Uh, because he took Ignite. If he took a TP, he would be fine. He egoed too much on that one. Uh, Ezreal no W. Fight. I don't say like go all in, but you can always fight. Fight, 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 fight. Oh my god. Okay, Thresh hooked you, right? Yeah. Ezreal is literally mirror range. She, she, you, look, you can literally auto attack him with your Q range, right? Yeah. Murder him. And save your W for last second, right? You never want to waste it. Oh no. Just E him. Uh, I was not in range to E here. He's casting his ultimate right now. Yeah, but I I didn't see his animation when I was thinking you were flash, so I just flashed. Yeah, but we can hear him casting it. See? We can hear it yeah. and see it. Okay, push. Nice, you denied a plate, which is good. Uh, Ezreal is roaming, so you shove for a plate. Never mind, plate spell fell, you're shoving for a third damage. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is good, this is good, you shove, one more. Everyone is coming bot, you reset, reset. Right here, stand here and reset. There's no point okay. running anywhere and just reset here, right? But instead, what do you do? You come and help your jungler. And you waste a lot of time for no freaking reason, right? And now you're yeah. behind in tempo for dragon, and now you can't reset here. And now it's really awkward for you. 
all of this could be avoided if you reset it earlier and it would be spending your 1.1k gold. Okay, Ornizir, dragon spawning and you're not there and you're not there because you wasted a lot of tempo and now it's really awkward for you because you can't face check, you have no vision, the Soraka's reset timing is bad as well, so you have to give up a dragon for free. Just because of recall timings, right? And yeah, yeah. at that spot you waste like 30 seconds, which is huge amount of time, right? So for example, in 30 seconds you can get 20 CS. Uh, no, no, you can get 12 CS, right? You can get, for yeah, example, yeah. Wolves, you can get Blue, you can get Grump and come top, right? In 30 seconds, you can literally get 12 CS, which is huge, right? Or you could be already a dragon, right? At that time too. Okay, so you continue showing bot, which is good. Uh, who are you afraid of? You should be stepping up and playing really aggressive, right? There's no point being passive. You're a freaking Nila. You're not afraid of freaking Ezreal. That's for sure. Oh, for now you're afraid. Never mind, you're not afraid anymore again. Go, 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 go. Just, just go. What's the point running all the way from bot to mid? Tell me. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> There's no point. So what's your objective right now? Your objective now is to push out bot, take Krux, take Scuttle, and then group mid, right? Yeah. That way you're gonna be the, the most efficient CS-wise as possible, right? Okay, so now you go top, I mean you go mid. Literally nothing gonna happen here, and you're gonna be wasting your time for no reason. You join a fight. Echo ends. You get a free kill. You get rewarded for a bad play. But you get punished <laughs> at the same time, right? Because Ezreal is taking free turret bot while all of yeah. this is happening. So it's kind of, you know, gamble mentality. And it works out. And, and you die. Here. <laughs> and you would have been dead here if you stayed bot, right? And yeah. you would have Navori here. By the way, you would have no worry if you had Futures Market. Yeah. So now you need to sell your Doran Shield and buy no worry. Should I you, do that? Sell yeah. D Shield or D Blade for. Uh... Yeah, always. Uh, no worry is just too powerful. So right now, you missed out on no worry, which is really bad for you because there's gonna be a Herald fight soon, right? So this yeah. is really bad. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. TP coming in. You have man disadvantage, this is a bad fight. You should never be taking this fight. Doesn't matter how it plays out, you should never be fighting here. Okay. And it doesn't play out good. It doesn't play out good. Because Gangplank is bot and he has Ignite, he has no TP and Orn TP'd in. This is a 4v5 and you never want to fight with man disadvantage, right? That's why you all got aced. Like, literally, three of you died for free. At least you get a bot turret, but, like, it doesn't matter too much compared to what you're losing, right? And all of this yeah. could be avoided if you just backed out, right? And played it at 45, right? You need to be playing each team fight accordingly, right? So, before the team yeah. fight starts, how many people do you see on map? You see no one, right? So, it's a 45. Basically, you should always approach it like that. Mm -hmm. So, whenever you don't see people, you just. Say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna play out this team fight as a, as it's four v four, four v five, right? But right now yeah. you were playing this team fight as if it was four versus three, right? Literally three, right? You were playing really f forward. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Contest raptors never give free free jungle camps. Always fight for them if you can. Uh, you shouldn't be going top. You should be pushing mid. This is your job as an ADC to stay mid and push mid, right? Push out mid wave, your support gets uh, prio, he gets vision control, he gets deep vision, he steps up baron and so on and so forth. But because right now your support is stuck top, right? Yeah. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Your support resets, you still have Herald. It's fine. Always push out mid before doing place, right? So you go mid, you push out mid. 
Okay, Thresh randomly hooks you, you fight. This fight is 3v3, so it's not too bad. You fight. This is 3v4, this is bad, you should back out. You should always approach this fight accordingly, right? Mm -hmm. So you're like, okay, right now, 3v4, right? Uh, freaking uh, Zed is not here, right? Or 3v3, because Echo is still not here, right? It's still yep. gonna take like him 5 seconds to come, right? So you can literally uh, burst the, uh, the trash and get out, right? Because you don't want to overextend the fight. Okay, this is fine. Everyone's just dying. And it doesn't matter if your team is dying. Until you don't die and you don't make these mistakes, you know it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fun. And you could blame GP for this game, but like, let's be honest, right? How many t team fights you approach uh, incorrectly, right? You could always yeah, blame like others. Yeah, like even if GP was fed, it would uh, still be a 4v5 back at you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, this is fine. Zed is dead. Again, you're not comboing properly, right? But you still get a shutdown, so it doesn't matter too much. You get Dragon. Go F, muted dog. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. <laughs> this is what I live for while playing solo queue. Okay, you go dragon, he gets dragon for free, he dies for it, you do baron. Baron, 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 baron. Baron. Another 800. Okay, so GG, you won the game. You got like 1.5k gold in like one minute, right? So the game is over. Unless <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, but we're still losing. Doesn't matter. You got 1.5k gold. As Nila. GG, no? Why are you not doing yeah, Baron? I'm doing something stupid. Uh, I saw nobody going Baron, so I wanted to use but the Herald because. Oh, it but was... you're not pinging the freaking Baron, and you need to use Herald for mid turrets, not like bot turrets, right? So, like. Yeah. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. <coughs> okay, what do you do here? You greed. You greed for the freaking tier 2 bot. I mean, respectable, respectable, it's fine. Greed is always good. Okay. Do you get the gold from it? No, uh, no. <laughs> so you greed it for the gold, and then you just ditch for a fight mid. You just use all of your ultimates. On their own. You have no R's anymore. And you're still trying to kill our own. You can't touch that beast before Aldiar. Don't even try to fight him. And never waste your R on a freaking tank, right? You always want to R the squishy targets. Right. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. You could buy Crit Cloak right here, if you had Futures Market, you lose Baron now. So, this play, I think it costed you the game, like going bot and placing the Herald and not getting the gold and fighting Orn for no reason and then using your R on the Orn and then you have no cooldowns, right? Because Vladimir R, the U R, the GP R, you all have no cooldowns and then GG, right? And then you lose Baron. Yeah. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Rakan blue? What? I was asking Soraka if she wants the blue. Screw her. <laughs> blue goes to you. At least you're getting that CDR. Who cares about mana? I don't think you should be fighting this. Just yeah. my personal opinion. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Okay, this is fine. Nice R. Perfect. Fucking Orn is unkillable. I love it. GP dies to Ezreal, 1v1. Echo dies to uh, Vlad, always good. Always nice to have a Vlad in your team, not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay, you're level 12 by the way. At this point of a game, you're supposed to be level 14 to 15 if you played it correctly macro wise, and you should be around 220 CS. Okay, that's fine. 
Zed is randomly trying to 1v2, he's level 16, you're level 12, so you need to be careful. Orn is level 16 as well, so you're tickling him as well. Okay, this is fine. You can't kill the Ezra, fucking Zed. Okay, it's fine, fine. Cloud, the soul doesn't matter whatsoever because it's cloud, so it doesn't affect the game outcome too much compared to other dragons. Okay, it's fine. Can't do much. Fine, you get some CS mid, you're level 13 now, not too bad. You could sell Doran Shield and buy the... If you had Futures Market, you could buy LDR, which is, would, would be really huge against Orn. As a uh, freaking Zed ends, still lives. It's fine. They get Cloud Soul, Cloud Soul doesn't matter too much. You're still tickling the Orn because you don't have LDR. Again, a freaking full tank Orn just kills you just because you're so many levels behind, right? His Sunfire did 700 damage that, time, that fight to you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so annoying. Look at him. He's tanking entire team and doesn't care. Okay, finally he dies. Okay, so we didn't pressure you with Baron buff. We just wasted the battle buff, so this is really good. It gives you more time. Right now we get all DR, so actually gonna be a champion now. Actually can do something. Okay, this is fine. Get all DR, you go bot. Baron spawning one minute. Do you want to be bot? Uh I think if I can clear one wave if I have time to, to get Baron. I would never like, go here. Have like... 30 seconds to Baron. Look at this. You came all the way here. For a cannon and two minutes. casters. Yeah. Wait, like, what's the point? And now you lost Pryo on Baron. Now your Soraka has to be next to you as well, right? Because she can't face check him alone. And now you don't have any vision at Baron's side. Just because you went bot, right? Yeah. And there's a fight. And you can't participate in the fight in time, right? So now it's really, really awkward for you. Okay, this is fine. 200 damage with LDR. That doesn't sound good. Oh my god, poor Soraka. Poor Soraka, everyone just going on her. <laughs> oh my god, it's fine. Just a Soraka life, don't worry about it. Enemies are trolling. Ezreal no E, so this should be like tri triple kill for you. Go Should Baron. Cleanse the, the trash ult there? No. Uh, go Baron. Go Baron, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron, go Baron. Okay, GG, you won. I don't know how you lose. Enemy <laughs> just see? threw. Impossible. I don't see any potential lose unless the Echo steals the Baron. No, he doesn't steal. Man, what's the problem? Uh, GP doesn't recall, he gets caught, and then I think we get caught, if I remember. It doesn't matter if GP dies. Whoa, 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 what are you building here? Yeah. Why uh, are you going I'm for G? I'm building a stopwatch and... Uh, no, I'm not building a GA, just a, a stopwatch and a crit cloak, because I don't have anything better to buy. What about lifesteal? I mean, I have Soraka. So with the futures market right here, I would sell the Doran shield, and I would buy... Lifesteal and uh, crit for shield ball component. Mm -hmm. But because we don't have futures market, now it's awkward, right? Now, I mean, yeah. yeah. I guess this is fine. I mean, best option that you had the gold with, you know, like, best option you had gold for. Let's just say that. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Personally, I wouldn't buy Stopwatch because. Of enemy team comp, but it's up to you, doesn't matter too much. Whichever you prefer. Uh, same with ghost. The process was that I would not have time to to finish uh, another item, so just buy whatever I can now. Yeah, yeah, but like, thing is, you have Baron buff, so you shouldn't be thinking like that, right? 
Yeah, well, I was hoping we either push and win or uh, they this us. You can't us. push. You can't push. This is bad. Again, you're forcing a 4v5. Hey, Sorokar survived. It's still bad for you, by the way. Do you see the same bad habits happening yeah. over and over again? You are in one yeah. target. Uh, uh, you're going for another disadvantage fight when the GP dies, right? Like, yes, it's a GP fault that he got caught, right? You shouldn't be making it worse, right? Afterwards. So right now, right. Elder gonna be spawning in like one minute. And we're gonna have full <coughs> vision control for it, so it's gonna be really awkward for you to actually play the game. Not to mention we're gonna be sieging mid right now, and we're not allowing the freaking Jarvan to recall. So right now you should be never be here. You should give this turret. Oh, never mind, Jarvan is here, never mind. Screw, uh, screw everything I said. Jarvan is here, you fight. Yes. Good. Good. This is fine. Fighting here is fine, like... Mechanical wise, could be better. You should never want to E into the enemies, you know? <laughs> Just kite back, yeah. right? Kite yeah, back. Yeah, I was thinking maybe with with that E I can throw the collector and kill him. Yeah, I would just skite back because afterwards, what are you gonna do after you kill the Echo, right? You got the Echo. What are you gonna do against Zed and Orn? Yeah, I didn't think it <laughs> that far. Yeah, exactly. You're like, ooh, I kill. Don't mind if I do. Okay, this is fine. Your team can def. I hope he can. What's going on here? No. They should def, no? Poor Soraka. Local ambulance. Why are you guys bullying local ambulance? Okay. And your support was really good by the way. Like she's literally yeah, no. a Soraka one trade. So Okay, you defend. All good. Nice. Poor ambulance died. The freaking Orns The Orns oh the the Z had R again, GG. Yeah, he had the uh, the axio mark. Go try to def ER maybe? Nah, GG. Okay, that's game one. Let's go to game two. Any questions? Uh, no. Perfect. Game two. Damn, 71 subscribers, not bad. Uh, yeah, I, I tried my life with YouTube uh, <laughs> a while ago, but uh, it was a... Uh, playing WoW, not uh, League. Uh, don't worry, you have extra sub. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, your pink dropped down. Oh, last game was pink diff, right? This game, because you have 37 ping, you win the game. Just like that. <laughs> I'm not even checking my ping, really. Yeah, it doesn't affect too much, like it's 10 ping, right? Okay, this is fine. Kai's is so easy. Seraphine is easy, Aurel is really good support, so it's gonna be easy laning phase for you. You go for invade, you reset, 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 yeah, you reset, go back. You should reset earlier, so you don't miss out on, like, you want to be, like, a little bit in front of the minions, right? So you start okay, uh, yeah. auto-attacking the minions faster, right? Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. You push the wave, this is good, this is good. Okay. You got first blood, your team is morphing. Push, 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 level 2, you all in Vakaisa instantly. She's 10, uh, like, uh, he's, she's 200 HP, go! Punish, look at her, punish, insta punish. The Seraphine doesn't even have Q, she's not gonna be doing anything. Go in and murder her. 
right? But what do you do? I'm waiting for the support to, to go in first. Why? Just bad habits. <laughs> Look, she, the Seraphine is casting Q right now. Go! Yeah. Go! Killer! Murderer! Go! She's dead. Not dead, but like, at least chunked, right? And then she can't play the game. You chunk her and she can't play the game, right? Okay, support went in. You still got rewarded for this, but like... You should be the one making these plays, right, as well. Not only your support. Yeah. Then you have opportunity, of course. I'm not asking you to like, go 1v2 and go crazy, you know? <laughs> I think I have these habits uh, after limit testing Nila for a bit. I died a lot in these scenarios. <laughs> That's I good. Go in and... That's better to die than play too safe, right? I entered my ass off when I started playing her. I mm. ran it so hard. So hard. Every single game I ran down. But I learned a lot, right? I learned a lot. Okay, you yeah. get double kill. All of this happened just because of your support. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. And you could be making this happen. You're in auto attack range. Your flash has same range as her flash, right? So yeah. what about you follow the flash? and auto queue and she's dead right same scenario happened last game exact same yeah. scenario and exact same mistake right that should hit by the way oh it did it did it did it hit did, yeah. yeah and you almost died to a turret yeah so yeah same mistakes same mechanical mistakes throughout. That's why it's always nice to get like a second person's view, right? So you yeah. can actually see it, right? Because in game it's difficult to notice. Okay, you shove. You don't slow push here, you shove. Yeah, shove. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you shove. Reset. Don't don't fight. Ignore Oh my god. Oh my god, what I what's going on here? You like to gamble, don't you? You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. I'm not no. She gives up? Okay. So yeah, you should never go for these like the random plays. You should always go for consistent plays. So consistent play would be resetting and not ruining your back timing for a potential kill. Right? Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Mute Lilia. Already some good stuff happening in all chat. I love to see it. Some <laughs> co quality solo queue stuff. Always <laughs> nice. Okay, Aurel is in 1v2. 1v3, 1v3. <laughs> even better, Rel is dead, lovely, she was focused too much on muting the Lilia than playing the game, happened, okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, doesn't matter what happens there, you don't care, you focus on the wave, Seraphine is trolling, taking entire wave, perfect for you, the wave is neutral, dragon is spawning, you push out the wave, Push, 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 push. Perfect. So it's always, always take consideration why you're doing stuff, right? So now you're pushing for Dragon Prior. Now there's a random fight in the enemy jungle. What's your goal right here? Uh, push and uh, move. No. Just push and continue pushing because you can't move in time because we already, like, Lilia is already dead, right? So the play is already over. So continue okay. pushing and just get a plate for free. Okay. Yeah, and you do that. So this is good. This is good. Okay, you get a plate. Perfect. Okay, the wave is bouncing back to you. So now a lot of Nila players do this huge mistake. You're level five. You're gonna be level six soon, right? You don't want the wave to be pushing to them, right? Because you're not gonna be able to abuse them at level six. Right now, we want the wave to bounce back to you, right? Right. Let's see what you do. You're pushing. You just auto attack the minion, right? You're pushing. Yeah. You're giving this 18 CS. Hear me out. 18 CS Kaiser, free gold and free experience. And you're not gonna even be able to punish her level 6. So level 5 Kaiser not gonna get punished with 18 CS and also she's gonna be getting free CS just from you pushing the waves in, right? Yeah. So even if you don't auto attack the wave, now it's it's doomed, right? The wave is still bad. 
and the Seraphine and Kaisa pushes it as well. So now basically just uh, enemies are trolling, right? Because we're trying to yes. match your push for some reason, don't know why. Okay, Master Ismid. And now look, because the wave is horrible, we can actually walk up to you and we can actually punish you because we play we feel safe to do so, right? Just because of yeah. your wave. Just because of your wave. And look, now we even freeze on you. We're freezing on you when you're about to hit level six. And you're not gonna be able to abuse him when you're gonna get level six. Alright, it's fine. See, Rel can't even go in on them. There's no way to actually do anything here. And now look how awkward the wave is, you're hitting level 6. And nothing happens. You're literally fighting under a turret, right? Yeah. You also had heal, so you could heal the realm, but doesn't matter. Okay, you yeah, push. I didn't really pay attention to, to my summoners. Alright, it's fine. Nice, Rise got shut down. You get one turret plate and you reset. Perfect. Okay, you have perfect gold, lucky you. Not gonna say anything about futures market. <laughs> like in, in this scenario, would you sell the, the D shield and use no. futures market to finish collector? No. no, 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 not for. Too early. I would sell yeah. for Navori. I would sell for Navori. Okay. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Rise is coming again, mid diff. Uh, Kaisa no flash. Always time the Kaisa's flash, right? So right now it's 13. 13, 25. 25. Okay? Yeah. This is fine. You don't want to push the wave, you want to keep the wave closed, but you're pushing again, autopiloting, right? Uh, same yeah. habits, same bad <laughs> habits. So let's continue, same bad habits, same bad habits, we look for all in, you can't all in, look how safe we are. We literally, you can't actually punish them. Just because of a wave, just because of a wave. Okay. You're walking around, you can't do anything, you're pushing one more wave again, you're pushing again, and again, and again. You actually get rewarded by her overstepping and you actually punish her. Perfect. No played. Played. You get a plate and reset. Reset. Let them cheese. Let them do whatever we want. This is not your time to actually stay here. Because you have 1.5k gold, you don't want to overstay. So you want to reset, right? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. And now you're gonna fight a dragon with 1.6k gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and you're still chasing with 1.7k gold and you almost die. So you're gambling right now. I love it. And you die and you get punished. And Seraphine gets a shutdown. Lucky you, you won the gamble. Kaisa didn't get the shutdown. The Seraphine got it. But it's Kaisa still got thing. two kill. Double, yeah. So it, it's still bad, it's still bad, right? And all yeah. of this happened just because you didn't reset in time. Yeah. Okay, you have BF, you have Nawori. She gets one plate, this is fine. You lose dragon as well. If you had a good tempo, you would never lose dragon when you're ahead bot lane, right? Okay, and you continue to shove. This is good that you're shoving, by the way, because the Kaisa resetted. So you're gonna go for plates and then you can even proxy her. Because the rise is coming, right? So you could proxy right now. But you don't proxy, you get for turret, this is fine as well, doesn't matter, right? Okay, rise is coming for the Kaisa. Okay, Kaisa is dead. He leaves you a shutdown, really good uh, freaking rise, I like him. Okay, you push one more wave, this is good. You take the Krags, this is really good. 
After cracks you reset. I know you're not gonna have enough on the worry, but you still need to reset. Perfect. Okay, what do you buy? Oh you have enough on the worry, never mind. Even if you didn't have enough on the worry, you should still reset. I didn't see that you have yeah. a long sword. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. There you go, bot. Yes, good. You don't never want to lose out on the free. Okay, Kais is inting. And never mind, she's not. You get free wave, you need to push one more wave in. Perfect. There's nothing to do mid, right? You always want to not share the experience and gold with your teammates. You have 120 gold, which is really. Uh, CS, not gold, which is really good. Alright, this is fine. You push one more bot, this is fine. Everyone is mid, so you get the bot turret, you get the bot turret, you get the bot turret and kill the Kaiser. Instead, you gamba mid, respectable, that's what I like to see. I don't think they did even needed you here. Oh, you get the Olaf. Oh, you get rewarded by 650, nice. Yeah, it's fine. And you get a mid turret. Broken, no. never mind. And you get mastery for free. And you get a herald. Yay, gamble paid off. Instead of getting a consistent 600 gold from the turret and 300 gold from Kaiser, right? So that's 900 yeah. gold. Okay, it's fine. Seraphine is running it down because her ADC sucks, so she's mad. Okay, it's fine. You get the mid turret, Rise flashes in. Now played, you get 220 from enemy AD. I mean mid. Kaisa is 1 HP, you get another turret. Perfect. You push in one more wave and you reset. You don't go for Herald, right? Yeah. Nope, you go for Wolves. It's fine. <laughs> and you reset. This is fine. You delayed your tempo a little bit. By the way, right here. If you had Futures Market, you would sell refillable and you would have entire item instead of components, right? So another key moment is the Futures Market is really useful. By the way... Yeah, but uh, at this point in, in the game, wouldn't I have already used Futures Market a few times? So it would be still like maybe 150 gold uh, okay. behind. Okay, you still can sell the Doran Shield and still get the uh, Shield Ball. True. Another thing is, uh, Kais is 82 CS Thanks. with static, and he's going AP. Huh, interesting. Uh, right now, the build for Kais is literally uh, that it's item, Umbro, uh, yeah. Umbro into Dustblade. Yeah, that's actually more broken than the Shiv before the nerf. Yeah, it is, it is. Shiv is dead item right now. Only I would only build Shiv on Sivir and LeBlanc maybe. That's about it. Uh, on Vayne, no? Mm, yeah, on Vayne as well. On Vayne as well. With Trinity, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah on Vayne as well. That's about it. Okay, you win this. By the way, a lot of Nila players don't know this, but you get extra healing from your R from minions. So if you are the minions, oh, really? you get more HP, yeah. But with HP is reduced to 10% instead of 100%. But oh. still, that's why uh, in my videos you can see me always E into the wave and then R to get the extra healing. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Alright. Kill him! Why did you run away? Auto, Q, uh... auto, auto, E, auto, E, auto, GG, dead. No? Yeah, I was... A bit scared to <laughs> to fight him without my W. You always win. You always win. At this point of the game, of course. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. What this Olaf is doing is illegal and should be punished. Yep. Oh my God! Why are you so scared? Go fight him. This is good. Save your W. Don't waste it so early. Always save your W. Auto Q auto E auto right. Combos. Combos. And then you flash away. He still dies but like you could have saved your flash. It's fine. Oh, okay this is fine. You get your Shubo.
Wait, you don't get your shoe bow? Uh, no, I think I <laughs> cancelled my recall to go back in. Oh, if, I didn't if, have the gold. If you had futures market, you sell Dorn's shield and you get a shoe bow. Okay, now you're stuck with 1k gold. That's a benefit of futures market, right? We can see it right. perfectly in this game. And this happens way too often. EW. I was trying to W him, but he, he kept running away from me. Yeah, people don't know what Neela does, so that's gonna happen a lot. You get Baron, after yeah. you get Baron, GG. I actually had a support uh, today that said, why is my uh, experience numbers uh, yellow? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, that, you're gonna see that quite often. What is this Olaf doing? You don't need to R. You don't need to R. Try to save your R. Get into habit mm -hmm. of saving your R and W. Really important. And never farm jungle camps with Baron buff. Always pressure with Baron buff. You can take the jungle camps after a Baron buff expires, right? Big mistake and a lot of right. people don't realize it. Okay, after you push in mid, take Raptors. I just said... Don't take jungle camps. I, I'm talking about your jungle camps. Enemy jungle camps are yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Push mid. Kill her. Kill her. E on minions, E on her. She's dead. You always spare this ADC. I don't know why. Just kill her. Don't be so merciful. I know she only has ATC, but you know... Like... <laughs> It's not merciful, it's just me not thinking I can uh, kill kill her and getting away with it. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, you rise. I also have a big shutdown on me, so I'm trying to, to take the safer uh, fights. Yeah, that's fine. I want to take safer routes. Proceeds to walk in into 1v5. 1v4, <laughs> 1v4. <laughs> Respectable. It's fine. A reset, maybe, you know, two K gold, you know. A bit much, a bit much, don't you think? Nope, no reset. Yeah. Let's go for dragon. Respectable. Okay, this is fine. You get this, this is fine. If you had futures market, you would finish entire item by the way. You had you would have all the items. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's fine. E stop, two bot, one mid, keep pushing. Keep pushing to mid, keep pushing and go for blue buff, and go for wolves, take jungle camps, take jungle camps, GG, no jungle camps. Pushing top is fine as well. You could have denied so many camps to be honest, but it's fine. You're chilling here, if they fight you, you win. Yeah, this is good. You still win, you still win, you still win. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Triple kill. And BFF. Nila is broken. <laughs> then we run one by one towards you. Okay, Quinn dies as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Never mind, we don't surrender. On US. Yeah, I was waiting for the FF as well. Yeah. On US, people just don't like to surrender, I suppose. Okay, this is fine. GG. Okay. So, any questions? <laughs> uh, nope.